Hello everybody! You obviously want to know how you make a blood effect in GIMP! Simple as this. Open up GIMP, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be a GIMP tutorial. Up top you want to click on File, New, and you can change the size. I'm using 640 by 480. You can change that, you can go to Templates and change that. They have different sizes and or you can just mess around with the size yourself and then just when you're done just press ok now you'll see a big white box with yellow and black lines that's the outline of it um press control L they'll bring up the layers box now in the layers box you can see background that's obviously the background right click on the white spot like right here right around that now click new layer name the layer blood enable transparency just click on that and then press ok X out and then just spray because you want to use the airbrush tool and you just want to kind of spray it a little bit okay so not that pressure there we go change the pressure all the way okay change the rate to 150 and the all the pressure on the bottom all the way up to 100 scale you want to be 1.39 and you want the brush to be sparks. Now you just kind of airbrush it. Just brush it everywhere, everywhere you want the blood. Just kind of do a messy blood splatter everywhere. Bang, bang. And bang and bang and bang and bang and bang and bang. Okay, I think that's a little too much blood, but that works. Now, when your computer is done catching up, like mine, <laughs> um, do, 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 you want to go up top to colors and press on colorize, change the hue all the way up saturation all the way up and change the bright the whiteness to about to like 85 no um there we go and uh, change it to minus 87 for lightness so you want the hue to be 360, the saturation to be 100, and the lightness to be minus 87. Bang! Perfect. You got your blue, your uh, blood background. Next time I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to add a logo to that blood background, and how to make more realistic blood, and all that crap. Stay tuned for more tutorials, and please leave a comment. See ya. Oh, good work. Finally created your first blood effect. Goodbye.